What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about some interesting EA news that came out this afternoon and that is Electronic Arts has named Ridgeline Games the official Battlefield single player studio. Now this is headed by the co-creator of Halo, Marcus uh, Leto's and that's going to be something that I think a lot of people are interested in considering you know, this year's Battlefield, Battlefield 2042 did not have a single player campaign. We think about the original uh, Halo games that Bungie were, were part of. The, uh, the story modes and the multiplayer were absolutely phenomenal, but the story modes were great. And that is what EA is kind of, you know, headlined as their, uh, as, you know, as something they want to do going forward with this announcement. By making, you know, Ridgeline Studios the kind of head of the story mode, the story parts of uh, Battlefield going forward and putting, like I said, that co-creator uh, of Halo kind of at the helm of that, I think we could have some good things in the future. Now, of course, there were some rumors before that, you know, uh, kind of what was going on since the, you know, this Bungie creator joined um, EA. And we've heard a little bit about this over the years, but no real, you know, kind of confirmation of about what this studio in the Seattle area was going to be doing. There've been job listings for EA in a, a Seattle kind of studio area. And no one was really sure what was going to happen with this. A lot of people thought maybe they were going to have, you know, a separate company that was going to do a brand new title or a brand new IP, something like that. But now we know that's going to be Ridgeline Games. And that is going to be part of, like I said, that Battlefield kind of story mode. Now, will this mean they're going to make a standalone Battlefield kind of story game? Uh, I'm not sure if that's going to be the case. I think some people kind of are, are, are I guess, would would say yes to that. Uh, I think a lot of people would like to see that and maybe have multiplayer and single player separated out. Uh, some people may not like to see that. Some people may want to have both kind of together as we always have. But I do think if this is going to be, you know, something they're going to do separate from the multiplayer. So if it's going to be its own standalone kind of thing, it could be a very interesting take on kind of how first person shooters are handled now. Uh, well, first person shooters kind of start going in this direction instead of making a new multiplayer game every year or first person shooter game starting to look at kind of the long-term picture how they can update things with microtransactions all that stuff you know a lot of gamers really don't like but sadly that's kind of the direction we're going in when it comes to fps games and i was kind of curious if they start to do this will other games start to follow suit if it is a successful kind of idea and i think they could make a really great you know kind of single player battlefield game you look at bad company i think a lot of people would like to see some kind of you know something going forward with that if there was a bad company just kind of standalone single player or maybe even you know single player and co-op for you to be able to play with your friends i think that would be a huge success if it was done right but at the same time i think a lot of people are going to want to see single player still with multiplayer so i'm kind of curious what you guys would like to you know see going forward with battlefield would you like to see it split would you like to see it done like it has been done in the past there's kind of, you know, pros and cons to both. If you have, you know, both together, you know, like we always have, that's going to kind of mean sometimes, in my opinion, the single player takes a back seat. The single player campaign is a little bit shorter. If you have a dedicated single player game, you can have a lot more content, you know, a longer kind of campaign, a longer story. But at the same time, will people go out and buy just a Battlefield single player story with no, no uh, with no multiplayer involved so leave me a comment with your thoughts let me know what kind of you know battlefield single player uh, content you would like to see going forward of course if i find out any more information about this you know if they start to announce you know just a specific single player game or if you know maybe ridgeline is working on a single player story for the next battlefield game kind of in the franchise because i'm sure here within the next year probably going into next year We'll probably start to hear a little bit more about a new Battlefield game. Considering Battlefield 2042 had a very rough start, I made a video a few days ago talking about how the game plays a lot better now in Season 2 than it did. Is it a perfect game? By no means. But it is a better game, in my opinion. It plays a lot better. It's a lot more enjoyable. But I still think EA is going to want to kind of fix that whole situation, probably with a new game in the future. So that may be the whole reason for you know, kind of coming out with this news about having, you know, just a dedicated kind of single player uh, group working on a, you know, 
working on the parts of single player for Battlefield. And then maybe they're going to have a separate, total separate group, I'm sure now, working on multiplayer. So leave me a comment with your thoughts. Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.